guys, welcome back to my channel, Clary B, mummy of three, and welcome to my first pack with me vlog. And if you haven't worked it out by the ears already, we are going to Disneyland Paris. Now, I have never done a pack with me vlog before. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, we literally booked this Today is Tuesday, the 4th of April. We booked this last Thursday. We are leaving this Thursday. We're leaving in two days, guys. Um, and I have been like on tender hooks like the whole time. It's a surprise to the children. You, If you are watching this video, you have probably seen my video before that I uploaded where we surprised them um, with a trip to Disneyland. And like we literally, I don't get bank holidays off and I was scheduled not to work the bank holidays. So we had four days off as a family. And I said to Gareth, we have to take this opportunity to do some days out. Because I'm in the hospitality industry, it's a 365 day a year business. So I work bank holidays unless I book them off specifically. And because Gareth gets bank holidays off, I don't normally book them off because I have some built in childcare. So it doesn't really bother me, but I was not down to work. And, um, and I just jokingly said, Oh, we should go to Disneyland. And, um, and he said, okay, well we can look. And we booked it. We booked it. And then I was like, Oh my God, we're going in a week. Um, so yeah, now I need to pack. My sister has the kids today cause it's her day off. And um, she's keeping them a bit extra for me so I can get stuff packed without the children being like, what are you packing, mommy? Why are you putting bags together? So, um, yeah, I'm going to do the children first. And then, because I feel like once I've got them done, I can like do myself quite easily because I know what I need to pack. Um, but yeah, we're, so Thursday night, we're telling them. And we're travelling to Dover and staying in the Premier Inn. And then Friday, we are catching the ferry early in the morning, sailing across to Calais, driving maybe via Paris we're not sure but Saturday and Sunday we'll be spending in the parks and then Monday we'll be coming home and then Tuesday back to work for me but um, I'm super excited if you can't tell it's been a dream of mine to take my kids to Disney for a little while Lily has a matching pair she doesn't know yet obviously she's got a little pair here that we're going to wear in the parks and I am hoping fingers crossed that the black ones for the kids the other the boys um come I think three pairs have been ordered but I don't think they'll fit Gareth quite frankly but we can try so yeah let's get into it if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe give the video a thumbs up if you like it and let's get packed okay so let me get our slippers out of the way these are the bags that we've got we've borrowed them from Gareth's mum I've got a bag here Another bag here. Whoa, it's got a few things in it, I think. And a little suitcase. Now I do have an overnight bag of my own. And I have put some things together for Lily already. So on Thursday, when we go, I'm going to oh, I can't get that open. I'm gonna get all the kids washing in their PJs. So we don't actually they won't be wearing clothes. Um they'll be wearing pajamas down to Dover. So we need outfits for Friday. We need travel day outfits, two park day outfits, and a travelling home outfit, and a couple of spares. So let's go through what we've got for Lily so far, shall we? And we will get her done. I'm going to put her and Charlie in this suitcase because we booked two. We've had to have two rooms at the hotel because we are a party of five. Um, and that just worked out the cheaper way to do it um, such last minute. So, yeah, Gareth and Zach will be staying in one room and we'll be in, I'll be in one room with the other two little ones. What I tend to do is bring a spare of everything. So it is a Disney trip. So we're bringing her Frozen nighty. Um, she will have her nighty on from Thursday. So maybe we'll just need one nighty. So we'll leave the Dory one behind um a little case not case a little purse full of oh i'm gonna open with one hand a few hair bubbles and hair clips so i can do her hair in the morning so there's that so she's got a nighty her hair clips now i tend to just do outfits by day so i've got a few things that i need to wash as well so she's got underwear pants socks a vest because i don't know how warm it's going to be i think it is set to be dry um but you never know because it's april a mini mouse top and a pair of navy blue leggings so that could be her saturday park day outfit a travel outfit i think i'm going to probably put her in this so she's got pants socks pair of ballerina leggings a little ballet top 
and a jumper, a little sparkly jumper. So that can be her travel day outfit. So Friday, Saturday with a cardigan. Um, Sunday, this, I've got a few outfits here. So she's got another Disney top here, which is perfect. Um, so Sunday in the park with a little pink denim jacket that I hope that she'll wear, that my mother-in-law got her for her birthday last year. And a pair of turquoise leggings. That will look quite cool. And then obviously pants and socks. So that's her Sunday outfit sorted. And then we need a Monday travelling home outfit. And I've got some comfy jeans for her to wear. Little frills at the top. A little t-shirt that says among the wildflowers and a little picture of a fox on it. And a frozen jumper and pants and socks. So I guess travel day outfits can interchange them. But that's four days, four outfits. And now she needs some spares. So that's Monday. And we've got some spare underwear. So I'm bringing three pairs of spare underwear for her. I currently don't have any socks. I don't know what the weather's going to be like. If it is warm, I've got a warmer, a long sleeve dress with pants, socks and a vest. So that's a spare. Now I need to go. Now I just need to go into the kids' room and find a couple of spare outfits for her. So take it's, it's so difficult packing for children because like they need to wear clothes this week as well. Um oh, it's so so tricky. Right, let's figure out what we're gonna put on her. Just bring some spare clothes, I suppose, just in case of accidents two spare outfits for Lily one is this pink stripy sparkly top which is actually really cute it could be a park park day outfit um I haven't got a, a vest for her though so that's one and then she's got a jumper here there's a spare jumper oh, a little stain on there that's annoying um and then a spare outfit number two so there we go I think she should be Okay, because hopefully if she doesn't get completely dirty, um, we can maybe rewear something, but you know, we'll see. In here, Gareth's mum has kindly given us some travel adapters. We definitely need those. And this is a little travel kettle as well, which may come in handy. Right, so let's get all of her stuff put in the case. Right, so we're packing Lily's denim jacket, two jumpers. Um a spare outfit a warmer weather outfit because it is set to be quite nice at the weekend um a spare outfit and where's her other spare outfit there's a spare outfit with a pair of knickers in as well and then we've got one park day outfit and another park day outfit travel day travel home day got the spare pairs of knickers i'm washing some socks she has a pair of pajamas her hair things i will pack her hairbrush there's her hairbrush now hotel will provide towels is there anything else we need put a another just a spare dress because apparently it's gonna be quite nice over the weekend in there for her so she'll have leggings and short tops with cardigans and dresses in case it's particularly nice um packing for all eventualities and what i will do is i'll pack some pull-ups that is a very good she's still in pull-ups overnight um but i'm gonna pack enough so that she can wear them in the park because if we have worse comes to worse situation where she wets herself. She won't be wetting all her clothes. She'll be wetting the pull-ups and I can just take that off her. So I'm going to pack a handful of pull-ups. And then hopefully if we do have an accident, it won't be catastrophic. Um, I mean, she still does go to the toilet, but she won't be, um, you know, if she's in a queue or whatever, she wet herself at the park the other day because she just couldn't hold it. Um, so yeah 
packing for all eventualities as you do as a mum. Now I need to tackle Charlie's stuff. So let's get things out for Charlie. So he's going to need a pair of pants for travel day, two days in the park, travel home day, and a couple of extra pairs just in case. And socks. Now this is why I'm finding it tricky because he doesn't have an abundance of socks. So I need to make sure I get some washing done and make a note of the fact that I need Lily's cardigan and socks for Charlie. So he's currently got two pairs of socks there. So here's what I've got for Charlie so far. I've got his pair of pyjamas we're taking with us. I have got his travel day outfit for Friday. A couple of warmer park outfits Saturday, Sunday, but I need jumpers. I've got a few spare pair of pants and I need a travel home day outfit for Monday. Um, and socks as well. And I've written them down here in my very messy handwriting. So I need to do some washing. And I can get some stuff out for Zach now too. I've put as much of Charlie's stuff as I can in the case here. I will have Lily's light rain jacket, which is fleece lined. It needs a wash, so I'm going to make a pile of things that need to be washed before we go on Thursday evening. Charlie has got um, Zach's old um, raincoat. So there's growing room in that, but it's nicer than the one he currently has. And we've bought Zach a new one, a blue one. I've got a nice new floral one that I ordered from Boohoo. Um, I just thought I needed something. Is that even the right way up? Yeah, okay, there we are. I just need something to um, put on in case it's a bit chilly or rains. And Gareth picked him up a, a just a green Kogoli type one. Um, so I'm going to need to pack those in our cases. But this needs a wash. I'm going to fold this up. And they are also light enough and small enough that the kids can shove them in their bags if they don't want to wear them. Because they all have their own bag that they will be carrying on their backs. I've been through the washing basket to get out things that I need to take. There's a load about to go on. This all needs to be washed. And if I get it on tonight, then I can have it all dry for Thursday when we need to finish the packing. Okay, so, so far we've got Zach's travel day outfit, his travel home day outfit. Um, I am going with comfort here because I just want them to be comfortable, especially on the travel home days because we're going to be in the car for quite a long time. He's got a warmer day outfit for the parks um, to match Charlie, which hopefully they will like to do because I do like to have them matching if I possibly can. So that's one park day outfit. He's got a pair of pyjamas, a couple of spare pairs of pants just in case. Now I need another warmer outfit for him and another like a couple of long trousery outfits which I've just put in the wash along with a couple of his jumpers. Right, I've packed everything I can of the children so far. Um, so now I'm going to start on their day bag. So this is Lily's bag that she'll have with her. And in it, she's got her hat and her sunglasses. And I've already had a spare pair of clothes packed in there in case she spills anything on herself. And they will be taking a bottle of water. Um, and you can refill them in the parks, apparently. There's water fountains to refill them with. And I'll put some snacks in here too. Um, so that should be her done for that day. Oh, well, for these bags. Oh, I can't do that up one-handed. Um, Charlie, what has he got in his bag? Let's see, hopefully something similar. He has got... Oh, he won't need a scarf. He's got his hat. Oh, his sunglasses are here. Oops, so we've got a pair of sunglasses in here. And I will pop a spare, maybe a spare t-shirt or something in there for him. Hopefully he won't spill anything on him, but oh, you never know, children. And what's in Zach's NASA bag? I don't think Zach's actually got anything in here. No, Zach's completely empty, so I need to find Zach's hat and his sunglasses. And then they will have their snacks in here and their drinks in here, and they'll be responsible for carrying their own bags. So I'm going to start packing some of my stuff now. So I'll start with my shoes. I've got two pairs of flip-flops and two pairs of 
I don't know what you call these anymore. I still call them dolly shoes. But are, are they called pumps? I don't know. Two pairs of those. Because it's not set to rain. But I will also probably have my like ugly type boots. Because I'll wear those to Dover on Thursday. I've got my rain jacket. I'll put all the adapters in my case here, I suppose. Or over here with my shoes. And I'm going to need to get some underwear and socks out. Um, am I going to be straightening my hair between now and when we go? Ah, oh, only on Thursday. So I'll pop, pop these in my bag for now. Because I'm not wearing any makeup or doing my hair for work for the next couple of days. Some underwear here. I've got some others in the wash that I need to take with me. I'll go to Disney without wearing what you can. But I just happen to have two Disney hoodies. So I'm taking those with me. My Minnie Mouse one and my Mickey Mouse and Pluto. I'll wear those on the park days depending on how warm it is. Um, where are my leggings? What size are these ones? Are these my 12s? Yep, 12 leggings. I need a pair of those. Jumpers. I've got one, two... Three. I'm bringing all my size 12s. So I'll bring one pair of size 10s just in case I'm feeling skinny on one day. But my diet has not been going well recently. I feel terrible about my body. We're not going to worry about that while we're in Disney because we'll be in Disney. Um, I've got four vest tops. Three vest tops here, which should be enough because I just wear them under things. And two lighter weight tops to wear. I might want to wear those on the park days if it looks like it's going to be warm because I will not take my hoodie off if I've only got a vest top underneath. Um, other body conscious mums or ladies will understand why. Um, and that is as much as I can pack for myself right now because we are going out for dinner with my grandparents and meeting my sister and all the children. Um, so I will catch back with you later on for the rest of this pack with me. Okay, so it's Thursday now, Thursday morning. Um, I sorted out my bag, my handbag, and um, my purse and everything last night, so that's all nice and clear. I'm going to transfer all of this, these are snacks and things, breakfast bits, into here. So let's get that done. <laughs> drinks are in here as well i'm talking quietly because the children are out there um so yeah, that's all that so that's all that done i think i need to put a few more bear yo-yos for lily all the children's shoes in here and they'll be wearing they're going to my mum's today so they're wearing their spare like older trainers because they're probably going to go on a dog walk so got all their shoes in there and they'll wear their like spare ones later um, and I've got to sort this mess out. And this is all the washing that I've done. So I need to sort that into the bags. This morning, I first thing I did this morning when I woke up, all the medication for us, painkillers, um, plasters, anything, full eventualities. So I've got the indigestion relief in my bag. I've got kids paracetamol, um, six plus paracetamol, ibuprofen, hay fever medicine, and some spoons. Also some Sudafed just in case so that needs to go in the bags too this is my bag i have the all-important passports in here I need my medication i need to put that in a little baggie I'll put my rain jacket in here and i've got garris rain jacket here too um my shoes are there now what was i about to do oh yes i will put these in the side pockets of my bag with oh, baby wipes and some extra painkillers that I've got. I'm going to chuck in some Obersoil and Vicks just in case because um, 
Lily's had a bit of a stuffy nose the last couple of days. So if we have it and we don't need it, that's great. But if we don't have it and we need it, that's not so great. So let's put these in the side pockets here now. Just got to tie off these bags. Put it nicely in there. Now I need to put together my toiletries. <coughs> let's see then. Definitely need a hairbrush. Um, face cream, I'll take my new one. Where's it gone? Da, da, da. So, body lotion, face cream, deodorant, um, take some tweezers, for the eyebrows, are they the right ones? Yes. Um, let's see, is there anything else? I will need a face wash, which I'll grab out of the bathroom. I have got Lily's inhaler as well packed already. I think that's good. I've got kids' toothbrushes. They've all got spares. A spare one for me so that we don't forget them. My exfoliating gloves. Oh, I need face wash. That's something I still need to put in there. Right, I need to really hurry up because I've got to go to work soon. Right, it is Thursday late afternoon. My sister has come home from work with me. Do you want to say hello? Hello. To help me get ready <laughs> um, to finish packing. I think we're almost there, aren't we? Yeah. Um, today, I've my eye, my allergies are terrible today. So after work, Amy went out and got some different antihistamines for me and then Gareth got some eye drops for me to help because just there's something that my allergies are terrible. But it doesn't matter because we're going to Disney. So I can't wear my contact lenses. I definitely don't look as nice in these mini ears with my glasses on. But never mind. Hopefully they'll clear up put together the kids Easter baskets ready for when we get back on Monday for them because we always get them um, Easter baskets and then we'll find out if the Easter bunny comes while we're away I'll just show you what I've put in them <coughs> so these are their little Easter baskets this one is Zach's this one's Lily's with the Terry's chocolate orange in it and then that one's Charlie's so before we leave tonight I'll be the last one out and I'll set it all up on the table for when we get ready or when we get home from Disney Gareth is getting up in the loft to get the guard rail down to put in the back of the car and then I think we're just about ready. My mum's got the kids, so me and my sister are going to go pick them up. I'll take my sister home, fill up the car, come home, and um, let the kids know that we're going to Disneyland Paris. So that is the end of my pack with me video. I hope you have enjoyed it, and do stay tuned for the Disneyland Paris videos. I'm so excited, and I hope that we have a lovely time, and I hope that you enjoy the vlogs that I'm going to do. Right, take care, guys. Bye.